Hey, what's up you guys? It's Audrey. I have a lot of puppies. Okay, they're gonna be playing. I'm sorry if they're loud, they're having a blast. Hello everybody, what's up? It's Audrey. So today I have a fun little video. I am going to be redoing my hamster's cage. So it's back there. I got her about two, three weeks ago. So I've almost had her for a month now. If you guys haven't seen the video where I got her, that'll be linked down in the description if you wanna see me adopting her. I did adopt her. I did not buy her from a pet shop or anything like that. And she's already about a year old. Right now she's just been chilling in this really, really boring 40 gallon tank. And as you can see, I got a big box of things here. I basically got a ton of new stuff to redo her cage. And also on my Instagram, I did a poll and I asked you guys what theme you wanted me to do her cage. And the two options were a soft girl aesthetic, which it was gonna be all pink, super cute and girly. And then the second choice was cottage core. And oh my God, cottage core one. Oh, hi, this is Bertram. He's a puppy and he's absolutely insane. Say hi to the people. My house is just a, a house full of animals as of now. Okay, but Cottagecore won by like a landslide. Like I think it was like 78% of people wanted Cottagecore. That's what we're doing. By Cottagecore, I mean more just like a natural, like woodland theme kind of, you know, you get my drift. So it's not necessarily like authentic Cottagecore because there's not cottage core decorations for hamsters, but I did my best. And let me just say something weird. So I just got this package delivered this morning like this, like it was open. Like this whole flap was just open and the guy handed it to me and he's like, here's your package. It's open. Like, did you, did you open it? He didn't even mention anything. He's like, here's your half open package. Like, hope you like it. We're gonna open this together and hope that everything I ordered is in here because if it isn't, then that's gonna be really sad because I've waited like over a week to get this stuff. And poor little Cream Puff back there is like, oh my God, get me out of this boring enclosure. By the way, her name is Cream Puff. I forgot to mention that in the last video. It's a big box, as you can see. So let's pop it open. Okay, so far so good. Oh my God. All right, here's my packing slip. So let's make sure that everything is in here. This is a really big box for like not a lot of stuff. Okay, first up, I was so excited when I found this. Look how cute. It's a little log that has hearts in it and it's meant to be in like an aquarium. Are you guys okay? Can you see them? Okay, so it's meant to go in an aquarium, but I thought it was just so cute. And from what I have seen, Cream Puff does not chew on anything. Like I've put like wooden chew toys in her cage. I've put whimsy dog chews in her cage and she just doesn't chew on them. So I'm not worried about her trying to chew on these kind of things and I think she'll be fine. So I thought it was really cute. It looks like a little log with a little heart in it, which is very cottage core to me. Then I just got another, I already have one of these, but I got another one. It's just a classic like bendy bridge. Oh, okay. Then I got her this little thing and it's like a little wooden cabin. Cause you know, a cottage core, themed cage would not be complete without a little wooden cabin. So that's fun. I got her this little bridge. Again, this is like supposed to be for fish, but it's like the perfect size for her cause she's absolutely tiny. Okay, this is so cute. And this was also $4, like $4 for this, which was kind of upsetting, but I think she'll like it. Cause I want her to chew on things. So maybe she'll chew on like seagrass and hay, but it's supposed to be just like a little basket of like flowers and stuff. And I thought that fit the theme perfectly. So I got her one of those. Okay, then I got her some orchard grass hay. Hamsters can eat hay, but it's not part of their diet. So they don't need hay. So if you're gonna get your hamster hay, make sure you go with something like orchard grass because it's a lot softer. Usually if hamsters are gonna use hay, it's gonna be for their nest or something. So you want soft hay so it doesn't like poke them in the eye or just poke them in general. So got her a little bag of orchard grass hay. And then I got a pack of blue bedding. You guys are probably like, that doesn't seem very natural, but you'll see what I'm doing with this. You probably like have an idea already. Let me grab the other stuff I got, but I got it a couple days ago because it came in a separate package. Excuse me, beep beep. Okay, so I got a giant thing of KT Clean and Cozy and I just got the natural color because this will be the main bedding I'm gonna use. And I got a huge thing because I want her to have a lot of room to burrow. And then I also got, oh my gosh, some Repsy sand. So she is a robo hamster and they're naturally found in the desert. So robo hamsters do need sand in their enclosure. 
All hamsters really do need like a sand bath or something because that's how they clean themselves and sometimes they like to use it as litter box. But under any circumstances, do not get like chinchilla dust or any sand bath that's marketed as like dust because that can cause respiratory issues because it's too dusty and then they breathe it in, it's not good. So go with like a rectus sand that doesn't have any added calcium or anything. Or you can just get children's play sand at like Home Depot. Either one works, just make sure there's no like big clumps in it or anything. And that's everything that I got. She already has some things in her cage I'm gonna reuse. I also was gonna get her a clear acrylic wheel so that it matched a little bit more, but they're $25 and I already spent so much money getting all of this stuff that she's just gonna have to use her little red wheel for now because I could not get her a new wheel yet. I have one more thing coming that isn't here yet and it's like a little mushroom Heidi and it's so cute. It's just like a little toadstool mushroom that she can hide in. And I think that will be really cute. It will really pull together like the cottage core theme. It is very hard to find like just a red mushroom hideout for hamsters. I don't know why it was so hard. The only one I found is like this big, which is fine because my hamster's like this big. I would have preferred a bigger one, but that's the only one I could find. So now that we have everything unboxed, we are gonna get to but yeah, we're gonna redo her cage and it's gonna be super nice and I'm really excited because I don't want her to be bored anymore and I feel like she's been bored in that like boring cage. I'm gonna link everything I got down in the description just in case you guys have a hamster and you got inspired by this video. Oh my gosh, guys, let's take it down a notch. Before we start decorating her cage, I actually got a little something for myself in the mail, just barely. And I want to thank Moon Glow Jewelry for working with me on this video. Let me show you what's in here. I've been waiting to unbox this because I wanted to unbox it with you guys because unboxing things is just so fun. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, so what Moon Glow Jewelry is, I absolutely love their brand and like what they stand for. It's basically jewelry that like has a picture of the moon inside the jewelry and it also glows. Like it glows in the dark, like it, the moon glows. But not only is it just a picture of the moon, you can actually give them a certain date and they'll put a picture of the moon from that specific date on your jewelry, which is super cool. It's really cool for anniversaries, like any special date that you have, you can wear a piece of jewelry, whether it's like a necklace, they have rings, they have all sorts of cool stuff. And you can have a little picture of the moon from that very night, which I just think is so cool. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video are gonna be little animals lovers so I think that this would be so cute if you got a necklace or a piece of jewelry with the date that you got your animal or your animal's birthday or something like that so you can always have a little piece of your animal with you and I think that that is so cute I got one in here so personally I chose my boyfriend and I's anniversary date because um, so far all the jewelry I have represents him in some way so when I saw this and I saw that you could choose your own date I just knew I was gonna choose my boyfriend and I's anniversary here we go here's the little box Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh, look at that. Do you see how pretty that is? Okay, so right here in this little thing it comes with, it explains like the moon phases and what they mean so that you can see what your specific moon means. And I think that's really cool. Oh, okay, so that's like a really cute pamphlet they, they give you. Okay, let me pull it out of here. Oh. It has little charms on the bottom with like a little earth and stuff. That's so precious. Okay, look at that. Everything will be linked below in the description so you can go check them out if you have a special date that you want to remember forever and just have a little piece of it with you. Isn't Mother's Day coming up? Oh, this would be such a good present for Mother's Day. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. And it's so simple and I feel like it will just match absolutely everything and the fact that it glows. Anyways, thank you so much Moon Glow. I love it, I love this piece. I love the whole brand message. I really hope that you guys check them out. Get yourself something cute to just commemorate a special date in your life because that's fun and we all deserve that. Okay, anyways, now that I've opened something for myself because I deserve something for myself, let's get back to decorating the cage. <laughs> Okay, so I really hope it's not too dark over here or anything, and I'm really sorry, I, there's no way I can keep them from absolutely being rambunctious. So she's asleep right now, and she follows a very specific schedule. She wakes up at like 11 p.m. sharp every single night, and then goes to sleep at like 7 a.m. 
every single day, which is absolutely crazy. I, every hamster I've had, they come out at least like once during the day, so I know that they're alive, but she does not make a single appearance until at least 11 p.m. at night. You know, if that's what she wants to do, I'm gonna let her do that as long as she's happy. Sadly, I do not wanna stay up until 11 p.m. at night to redo her cage. And just so you guys know, I'm only going to be changing up her cage once a month. And for the most part, I'm gonna keep the same bedding. I'm only switching out the bedding this time because I wanna add more and I want it to all be cohesive. So just so you know, I'm not gonna be fully cleaning out her cage every single week. I will be spot cleaning and like cleaning her wheel as needed. For now, I do wanna completely redo it just so it's a little more entertaining for her. So I'm just going to clean out as much as I can without waking her up. And if she does wake up, I will put her in a little box so she can chill. If she doesn't wake up, then cool. And I'm also gonna leave a little bit of her old bedding in the cage so she has her familiar smells with her. And a lot of the stuff already has her smell on it. So she won't be too overwhelmed. She'll have like the same wheel and everything. And I also realized I don't even have like a dustpan and tray or anything. I do have gloves though. So I think I'm just gonna put on gloves and just like, do it by hand. It's a lot to do by hand, but I don't have a dustpan or a dust tray because apparently I just didn't plan ahead. I'm gonna fi try to find the best camera angles to show you guys. Um, it's gonna be kind of rough because I don't have my tall tripod with me right now. These little guys. Are you guys gonna get tired yet? <laughs> Ew, you got snot on the lens. Sorry about that. looks crazy but the cage is done finally let me show you an overview sorry I stopped filming like when I kind of finished decorating it because I didn't know what I was doing I didn't know where I was putting things but I found I figured it out so basically let me give you a little oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh okay so over here we have like just some hay on top of some brown bedding. Um, I ended up leaving her nest back there in that corner. That's where she's been sleeping. And when I was cleaning out her cage, I saw her and then she literally just went back to sleep. Like she didn't even care. So I put her cabin right above where her nest is and we have her little flower, a little mug hideout. I just got this from the thrift store. Paper towel roll, millet spray. Um, we have a whimsy dog chew. She doesn't really chew on this, but I'll put it in here anyways. Another wooden hideout. We got some bendy bridges going into a sand area where her wheel is. Then we have the little bridge just right there connecting the sand and the bedding. Um, this little hide 
then her water bottle, a little tube. I scatter feed her food so she has to forage for it so she doesn't have a food bowl because I just sprinkle it everywhere. It's a little bit more fun for them. But yeah, and I still need that little mushroom hideout. I'll probably put it somewhere in here because there's not a lot of hideouts over here. Okay, so technically I'm filming this after the outro, but you're gonna see it before the outro. I think I just got the toadstool hideout in that I was talking about. Oh my God, I can't open it. Oh, they've seen so much of them because he's crazy. Check it out. Look how small. Here we go. It's more of just like a decoration more than like something for her to use, but she could probably fit in there, but it's just cute. It's so tiny. I paid like $13 for this. I'm not kidding. Well, it looks high quality. It is? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Beautiful. She oh, did a very good job. There it is. Next to the flower. Perfect. Now it's done. Later that night. Okay, so I am really happy with how it turned out. It's not gonna stay this clean. It'll get so messy by the morning, so I need to embrace and enjoy this nice, clean, pristine cage while I can. But I'm really, really happy. I think it turned out really, really cute. I'm happy that she has a little bit more of an entertaining cage. I'm happy she finally has sand. So that's everything for today's video. Be sure to check out Moon Glow Jewelry. All my links will be in the description, including everything that I used in this cage down in the description, just in case you saw anything that you wanna use for your own small animals. And yeah, that's all for this one. So feel free to check out some other videos on my channel. Check out my links in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.